talk about the layout. First, some simple layouts. Usually, there are three different ways to organize your content elements vertically, horizontally, or randomly. In Experience Builder, a column widget is a container that can help organize content vertically. You can expand the vertical grids by just adding more widgets to a column. The size of each widget can be manually resizable. And you can adjust the gap between the grids and the paddings around. The alignment of the inside elements is also adjustable. In a column, you may arrange the elements in different ways. Align them to the start, to the end, or align them just in the center. Now let's see a demo to learn the details. A column layout is a container. You can drag a widget into the column layout. They are organized vertically. You can drag a widget to change their order. The column has several vertical alignments. You can align them from top to bottom or bottom to top, or centered, or you can change the space between them. The gap means the space between two widgets. Also, you can change the paddings. The padding is around the column layout inside of the border. The column may have scroll bar if the height of all widgets is bigger than the column layout. If the column has scroll bar, the behavior of the vertical alignment changes. It better set the vertical line to start, which is the default value. Otherwise, some of the widgets will be cut off. We have option to hide the scroll bar, but most of the time it should be turned on. Now let's see the row widget. This is a container widget that help organize elements side by side in a row horizontally. A row widget is like a single row. It has 12 column grids. All grids are equal size and the grid size are calculated based on the widget size itself, as well as the gaps among the grids and the surrounding paddings. When you drag a widget to a row, it will snap to the grid and the widget inside can span across one or multiple grids. Let's see how it works. Row is another type of layout. You can drag a row into a page. The widgets in a row are organized horizontally. In a scrolling page, when you drag a widget into an empty area, the automatically created block is also a row. The padding has the same meaning as the column layout, and a row is split into 12 columns. The gap is the space between two columns. The 12 columns of a row are totally different from the column layout. They are used to measure the width of a widget. If you have several widgets in a row, it's very easy to make them with the same width. You can drag to resize them. And drag it to change their order in a row. Here is an example of several rows. They may have one, two, three, four, or six widgets in a row. Then, how can you organize content randomly? That is, to use the fixed panel. Inside a fixed panel, you can place widgets randomly, just like pink sticky notes on a whiteboard. 
you can resize the widget with absolute or relative position and size. Just a reminder that a full screen page, as we mentioned earlier, is just like a large fixed panel. If you don't use other structural layouts, things are just organized randomly. This layout is useful when you want to put some widget on top of another. Let's see the demo. The fixed layout is a container where you can put a widget randomly. Are you familiar with the fixed layout? The first screen page uses this layout. It's especially useful when you want to add a widget on top of the other. Here is an example. The image takes the full size of the fixed layout and the a button is added on top of the image. Then we can add a text at the top left corner. You can change the style like font size, color, and the background of the text widget. Some widgets like map has an embedded fixed layout. You can drag something on top of the map and it will, it will be attached to the fixed layout. The button will go with the map when you move it. And you can also drag the button out of the map. If you want to restrict the button on the map, you can go to the Style tab and uh, turn on this option. In this way, you can only move the button within the map's area. Next. Let's talk about the compound layout. Experience Builder provides several compound layouts. Set bar is a kind of it. Set bar consists of two fixed panels. That means the two panels are all fixed layout. And one of the panel is collapsible. And you can do this by clicking the collapsed button. You can change the sidebar style to decide the dock side, whether it's the right to left or up to down. And you can also decide which panel is collapsible as well. Let's see the demo of sidebar. The sidebar is a compound layout. It has two fixed panels side by side. You can add widgets into these two layouts separately. Here I will put a list widget at the left sidebar and add a map at the right sidebar. You can decide which side can be collapsed. By default, the left side. You can make the right side collapsible. And also, you can change the direction of the two sides arranged. You can drag the splitter to resize the size of the sidebar. We have an option named overlay. If it is turned on, the collapsed side will be float on top of the main side. Next. I'd like to introduce section. A section is a container that provides multiple views. It is like a stack of papers. You can show only one view at a time, but you can navigate different views with a view navigator. Each view can include a combination of any widgets. You can arrange elements randomly inside a section view. You can comprehend a section as a stack of fixed panel. Now let's see how it works. Section is a compound layout. In a section, there are several views. Each view is a fixed panel. In order to distinguish from different views, I will set a background for it. You can add widgets into the view just as you add widgets to the fixed panel. Here, I will add an image and a text in, into the view. Change the style of the text to make it more obviously.
you can add a new view or duplicate an existing view. The duplicated view has the same contents with the original one. Also, change the background of the second view and uh, modify the label. Then, add an empty view and uh, add some widgets into it. You can drag the handler to change the order of the view. There are several ways to navigate between views. First is to use the arrows. You can change the size of the arrow. And with arrows, you can navigate between views. The second way is to use the dot. Both arrow and dots are provided by the section itself. You can change the position of the dots. The third way is to use the navigation widget. The widget will list all views. And in live view mode or runtime, you can click the tab to change the view of the section. The section also supports autoplay. You can define a transition effect. Then turn on the autoplay. You can set the interval of the transition, and if the loop is turned on, the transition will be played forever. Thanks, Jen, for the demo. Another important compound layout in Experience Builder is Screen Group. It consists of multiple screens. A screen is very different with the section view as the way it arranges content and navigates. While you have a group of screens, you view one screen at a time. Multiple screens are stitched to each other, and you can scroll to navigate. Each screen has the main stage where the content are fixed. Each screen can also have a scrolling panel where content is scrollable. The screen group layout is only available at the scrolling page. As mentioned, in screen, the main stage will remain in place when you are scrolling. It disappears only when the full screen scrolls out. The content while in the scrolling panel is scrollable. It can float on a main stage or dock at site. The scrolling panel is extendable, just similar as a scrolling page. The scrolling height of a single screen is based on the scrolling panel's content. Now, Jen will explain more in the next demo. Screen group is a complicated compound layout. It can be only added from the screen group template list. Each screen group has several screens. In each screen, there is a side panel and a main stage. The side panel uses column layout, and the main stage uses fixed layout. You can use the scroll bar to navigate between the screens. In the screen setting panel, you can set the background of the main stage. The screen panel has two modes, docked and floating. If you choose docked, the side panel and the main stage will be placed side by side. And you can change the direction of the side panel. If you choose 
floating, the side panel will be on top of the main stage. And there are three positions you can place the side panel. Also, you can change the width of the side panel and add some offsets to it. The padding has the same meaning as the column layout. You can add more screen from the screen template list and use the arrow to switch between screens. Okay, let's start to see how many screen group templates can we use. First, it's a cascade. There are two key concepts in the screen group. First is the transition effect of the main stage. Second is the trigger position. It means when the side panel touches the trigger position, the corresponding main stage will be appear. Let's see the second template. The trigger position is one third from the bottom and the main stage effect is fade in. Next, composite layout. Previously discussed the simple and the component layouts are actually the layout's component that Experience Builder offers. Based on that, you can actually combine any of them to a different layout. That means you can put one into another then you may have the power of composite layout to organize your content. Let's see the demo. The row, column, and the fixed are simple layouts. Their functionality are unique, but composite makes them more flexible. Let me give you some examples. Let's add a sidebar to the page. As we know, sidebar uses two fixed layouts. We add a map to the right side, and uh, the left side is a fixed layout. How to do if we want to use a column layout in the left? We can add a column layout into the fixed panel and uh, make it take full size of the fixed layout. Then we can use the fixed layout as a column layout. We add a widget into it, duplicate it and uh, add some other widgets into the column. Now, we have a sidebar with a column layout as the collapsed side. In a scrolling page, when we add a new widget, a block will be created. The block uses row layout. But how to use a column in the row we can drop a widget at the bottom of the existing widget. A column will be created. Of course, you can drag a column into the row. Now, we have a column in the row. You can edit the column 